I don't know how to get a two before and hit you between the eyes. I am begging you, do not get in trouble without calling people. I spent my whole teenage years doing everything by myself. And I made so many mistakes because I didn't have anybody tell me how to do it. And I was too embarrassed to call anybody. And I have a fantastic family. You know, as Case Hatch was telling me about, he got all these offers from schools. I got all these offers from engineering. And now I'm getting a cramp. <laughs> I got all these offerings from engineering schools, top schools in the country, that I could have gone to, but I didn't, but I, math, I couldn't get math, right? And I have a sister who teaches math. She's like fabulous at it. Her husband is a college professor in math. All I had to do was ask, and he didn't do it. And I'm begging you guys, don't let that happen to you. You know what? We're all sitting there going, oh, wow, all these kids are going to start calling us now. We're parents, you know. Uh, you know I'm going to get a call from you every day. Give me that problem. I'm begging you. Give it to me, okay? How many kids said, how many, how many people said about suicide? You don't think any of you can commit suicide? You, you can. Depression can get so bad. See, Satan doesn't want to mess you up. He wants you dead. He wants you his. He doesn't want to just mess around in your life. He wants to control your life. And that's why the church is so important. Because it puts you in an environment where Heavenly Father's Spirit can push that darkness out. But even with the church, we've got suicides going on. So I'm telling you, I'm begging you. There will be no judgment if you call me and you say, I'm thinking about suicide. I'm not going to say, well, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you know what impressed Joseph Smith about uh, when he went into the, present, into the sacred grove in James? He read, what did he read? If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth what? All men and the and shall be given him. What does a braid mean? I have no idea. It's a braid. No? What does it mean? It's what? You won't be mad. The only stupid question is the one that isn't asked. It's right. the same thing. God and me, and Richard, Richard's got, Richard is very quiet, but he knows a ton of stuff. You want him on your team when you're playing a game. You got <laughs> Katie I, over here. Can I jump in? Yeah. To echo what Grandpa's saying, call me. I've lost three cousins to suicide. If you've got any problems, I want to help. I don't want anybody else to go through what my family's going through. Three. And I lost my sister to a medical issue. You see, you guys, Lenise, when she was telling about uh, Maddie, fasting works. It actually works. I was there when she <laughs> Because this, you gotta, this is what you got to think of. This is the picture you got to stick on your wall because who is going to worry about you more than your cousins? You guys have started this texting thread, which I think is just awesome. Except, except for Kendall. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay, you got to figure it out. There's a there's there's somebody that needs your help in that texting. We don't have, there's people missing here, right? Bryce? Chloe? Yeah, Bryce is right here. Yeah, Bryce would do it. Bryce is awesome. Chloe Where'd Ben go? Jackson. Where's Ben and Ricky? And we love those people. I mean, we just, I, I adore every one of you. You know, a long time ago, Jaylee did something for me that I'll never forget. And one day she said, you know, you're not my real grandpa. Oh, that was me. <laughs> no, she's, she said it too. But you know what she did after that? She has treated me like a king. I always feel so good in her presence. Her hugs melt me into my shoes. 
And you know, you guys, you do this, you do this all the time to me because I just feel so grateful that I'm part of this family. And you allow me to take this position and fumble around it. Because I love all of you so much. Bella did something just yesterday that just really got to me because I'm so mad that so many people didn't show up for Scott and Angelus Fireside. And Fireside was good, right? The ones that you guys have amazing. Amazing. It was amazing. But it takes it takes a lot of courage. Now you came out and you said to apologize and you told me why and and it made me feel bad that I got mad. <laughs> but you know what? I felt good that you could approach me and say that. And I hope it didn't take a lot of courage because I want to be approachable. I want to. There's nothing any of you could do. Nothing. That any of you could do that would, would stop me from loving you. Okay. This this young couple up here that got over drugs, got over all this stuff. Their parents must be just as happy as they can be, right? No matter how far you stray. All you gotta do is turn around and God will be right there. He didn't move. You did. If he didn't move, then he's ready and willing to take you back. This gospel is about father, son, daughter. It's all family, all the way down, right? I know how Heavenly Father feels. I don't know how it feels to lose a son like he did. But I can imagine the pain and sorrow that that would have caused. Because I would die. Hurt. I'm going to die worse if any of you ever felt like you want to leave the gospel or you want to leave your family or you want to do things that will hurt you. But I'll always be here. Okay? I don't know how else to say it. And I hope that I hope that helps, but that's why we have this EFI. Don't forget this. Okay. Brigham? Okay, get in real tight. Come on, everyone. Okay. Get there's worse ways. Guys, let's on the count of three, everyone say thank you, Grandpa and Grandma. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa. I love you.